In the beginning of the chapter, we mention a key term, which is agglomeration economies. And this basically says that the reason that dense urban areas exist is because, well, we're social animals and, and we, we trade with one another and we work together and it's beneficial more so than it is to, to not be near one another. When broadband started to really penetrate the U.S. and it's obviously penetrating the whole world, and now we have you know very, very inexpensive robotics. In your mind, and I know this is looking sort of way down the road, but in your mind, do you think that continued significant broadband penetration and telepresence or holograms or anything of that nature is going to move the needle on whether agglomeration economies and density are still important? I don't think it changes it much. You look at Seattle area, which by historic standards was remote, and it's been one of the great growth areas because you have um, major companies who have spun and grown, Microsoft being obvious. But not only did they grow, they were entrepreneurial and five of their people left and started their own firms doing related but not the same. And then one of those people left. And so I think the agglomeration benefit, yeah, we talk about it's nice to have a whole bunch of other people like me around, and, and you see some of that. But it's not like the Chrysler worker walks over to the Ford factory and says, how are we doing, right? It's not so much that. I think where it really comes as an agglomeration tends to be from the top, which is you get the entrepreneurial management type spin out. And if you've got a big agglomeration in an industry or a set of industries, that means more people are spinning out, creating new firms. If you don't have much of an agglomeration, you could have somebody successful, but it's not a big enough success to spin out in people. And so I think that's where the agglomeration comes. And there's not much evidence that the benefit of agglomeration is dissipated as technology is improved. And in fact, if anything, you look at the rebirth of New York City, it would suggest that if anything, agglomerations are more important today than in the past. I'm not sure that's in spite of or because of technology, right? But certainly there's no evidence of a big change. 